What's up guys, the tech person here today in this video, we are going to discuss the question. Will the Apple Watch Series 1 receive the watchOS 6 update? With WWDC in less than a day, this question will officially be answered, but many people have been thinking about this, and I think I know the answer with some proof. Let's get into the video. So before we get into what I think, let's get into what watchOS 6 will have. According to Bloomberg, the Apple Watch will receive an app store, voice memos, an emoji and emoji stickers from your iPhone, a books app for audiobooks, a calculator, a pill reminder, more complications, and of course, new watch faces. To my knowledge, really none of these features are power intensive. If there could be a Twitter app for the Apple Watch called Chirp, I am sure the watch can handle an app store. If the watch has a podcast app, I'm sure it can handle a simple audiobooks app. A calculator, reminders for pills, complications, and especially new watch bases are not power intensive at all. This means that even if Apple decides to not support the Series 1, it would simply be so that people can upgrade. Additionally, since the Series 1 and Series 2 both have the same dual core processor, it would simply mean that both the Series 1 and Series 2 would be cut off. That would mean that only two Apple Watches would be supported, the Series 3 and the newest Series 4. Clearly, that can't happen. Also, the Series 0 was discontinued in September 2016. This means that the Series 0 still received updates for another 1 year and 9 months after its discontinued date. The Series 1 was discontinued in September 2018, which means people were still buying them not even a year ago. Cutting off support for them now simply doesn't make sense. With all that being said, seeing how Apple behaves with support for the Series 0, what watchOS 6 will include, and with when the Apple Watch Series 1 was discontinued, I'm almost sure that Apple will not cut off support for the Series 1. As I said before, it also doesn't make sense for Apple to only support two Apple Watches, since the Series 2 would also have to be cut off. Anyway, thanks for watching. As always, like, comment, and subscribe with notifications on, follow us on Twitter and Instagram at the tech person, and check out our website and merch. All the links for these will be in the description. For now, I'm the tech person and I'll see you in the next episode.